Right. And, uh, I believe in doing this protocol Amen. Amen. if it's the proper call. Amen. But you listen Amen. for God's call on what yes, you need sir. to do. Yes, and he kept me, I was focusing on some other things, but he kept me here. Uh -huh. And I started focusing on that. And I, I like this subject, a uh -huh. joyful sound. Yeah. Joyful sound. And the song that been ringing in my spirit ever since I focused on it was, uh, I heard a joyful sound. Yes. Jesus saved. Jesus say, I'm going to tell it all around. Jesus say, Jesus say, this is to the utmost. Jesus say, to the utmost, Jesus say, an old school here, pick you up and turn you around. That's repentant. Hallelujah. Jesus say, so that's a song we learned as these young children singing tonight. Yes. I enjoyed them. Um, just give another hand clap for them. To be in church on Friday night. That's right. That's right. The young people. That's that's Amen. a blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one thing I want to say to the ministry about your young people: keep on praising your young people. Amen. Yes. Appreciate them. Yeah. I don't care what they do, how small it is, to appreciate them because yeah, yeah. you don't know exactly what's happening in their lives when you do that. Yes. You don't know what God has purpose for their life to yes. be as yeah, they grow up. Yeah. But keep planting those seeds yes. of encouragement Amen. and appreciation because Amen. if you I learned one thing, if you don't, the world will. They have them out there dancing on the floor at age three. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Doing the, doing the boogie woogie they used to call it that. Ah, and all those other yeah. things. But I appreciate them and that God yeah, will bless you yeah. because he said, Suck those children to come unto me. Uh, and we'll be glad that they come. Amen. Turn to Psalms 89 uh -huh. 15. We're going to start there. Amen. Hallelujah to his name. Yes. And as God lead, we will follow. Amen. A joyful sound. A joyful sound. This is joy night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And how many came with ex expectation of the joy of the Lord Amen. to fill you tonight? Yes. Amen. You know, joy, yes. joy and happiness. I thought about Al Green, but he said love and happiness. Joy and happiness. There is a difference. There is a major difference between joy and happiness. Because you can have joy and no happiness. But you can't have happiness without joy. There is a difference. Joy is an everlasting component. Happiness is really, most of us respond to it on the earthly issues, like a brand new car, a house. I'm happy because I got a brand new car. That, that's not don't last too long because once that car break down and deteriorate, guess what happened to your happiness? Oh, it's God. gone. But when you have the joy of the Lord, of the Lord yeah. it's something about that joy that will give you new strength. Yeah. It will strengthen you in your inner man yeah. and enable you to go on in the work of the Lord. Uh -huh. Psalms 89 15. Blessed is the people uh -huh. that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O oh Lord, in the light of thy countenance. Yeah. Blessed yeah. is the people. Yeah. We are blessed people. Yes, we are. Because yeah. we know the joyful sound. Mm. There are many sounds that are penetrating our ears <coughs> today. Voices <coughs> speaking into the ears uh -huh, and heart. Uh -huh. Music that floats across the airways. Mm. The noisy <laughs> traffic sound. News broadcasts and sounds of nature. News broadcasts gives. I'm telling you, the news today. It's such. It's such a negative, and it's it's always something going on in this national and local news. Yeah. And yeah. we're hearing it, but it's very important to understand. Sometimes you need to turn off the news mm -hmm. because it can affect your spirit. Yeah. It can bring about discouragement. You have to be careful what you listen to anyway. Yeah. It's very important. 
Everywhere we go, our minds are invaded by sounds. Sounds. We have ear, our ear is one of the sound or listening is one of the five senses that we use. Uh -huh, uh -huh, and and uh -huh. hearing, a lot of people don't know how to listen. I'm going to talk from that point of perspective. Uh -huh. Some people have to talk all the time. They can't listen. <laughs> and see, if you talk all the time and you don't listen, and you can't recognize some voices. Uh -huh. You're not familiar with the sound. Uh -huh. And when it comes down to listening to sound, uh -huh. many of us know each other's voices. We can talk on the phone and, oh, I know that's mama. That's, that's daddy. That's yeah. So and so, we know the voice because we know what we've, we've developed what a relationship, mm -hmm. and that sound, that voice, we're familiar with. Yeah. In fact, sounds have become such a problem that our laws have had to be amended to allow only limited decimals of sound in order to maintain peace and hearing health. Uh -huh. Sound can be piercing to your ears, yeah, it can be very disturbing. Mm -hmm. Sound. It can cause a lot of issues as far as your health is concerned. Mm -hmm. Yes, noise can be a problem, but noise can be helpful too. Take the sound of the fire or police siren, which I've been working almost 24 years, over 24 years now, to alert the people to be out of the way so that emergencies mm -hmm. can be handled quickly and lives saved as a result. So there are some sounds that you have to be respectful for too. Yeah, yeah. You have to honor and, and move out the way of. Yeah. That's right. Because you can cause a be a hindrance. Uh -huh. Then one that we all deal with down through the years. Mm. Think about that wonderful sound that most of us hear every morning <coughs> from the alarm clock that by the grace, <laughs> by the mercies of God. Yeah wakens us from a deep and restful sleep. That's right, that's right. Sometimes we hit that snooze button. Mm. It gives us another five minutes. <laughs> then it goes off again. Mm. And we hate, we don't want to get up because the sleep was so good. Yes, sir. But that's yes, sir. a sound yeah. that God allowed you to hear. Yeah. Because it was not the alarm clock that woke you up. That's right. It's just God allowed Allow. you to what? Yeah, to allowed. hear it. Yeah. And it awaken you out of your sleep. Yes, sir. Considering the multitude of sound that we hear every day is an outward sound mm -hmm. to one of, as I said, the five senses, the natural ear. <coughs> I want us to look at another sound All right now. that can only be heard by the supernatural ear mm -hmm. in the spirit mm -hmm. tonight. A joyful sound. Say joyful sound. Joyful, joyful sound. sound. Bless all the people who learn to worship in joy. Enter into God's presence. There is a fullness of joy. And find happiness, blessings forevermore. Uh -huh. Joy, find happiness, but not happiness, find joy. Joy, yeah. joy finds happiness, but happiness does not find joy. And this world system has twisted that. Yeah. Because we go after happiness mm -hmm. and not joy mm -hmm. because most people don't understand that the joy, the old folks you say, this joy I have, yeah. the world didn't give it to me. Yeah. And since the world didn't give it to me, yeah. the world can't take it away. Yeah. But yeah. happiness is of the world. Mm -hmm. That there is a happiness in God as well. But you have to pursue it through joy. joy. Because the scripture says here that I think it's that 16th verse. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah. Uh, rejoice. Rejoice. Rejoice, and you will find happiness. Now, blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. You know that joyful sound. Only the saints of God know that joyful sound. Yeah. Now the sinner hears it, but they can't respond immediately because they never heard it before. Uh -huh. Faith come by hearing. And, yes. hearing. and hearing by what? The word of God. Yeah. So a person that does not believe who's a sinner, they first have to hear the word of God. Yes, sir. Not with the natural ear, but in their spirit. There is a difference. And many of us get it confused. 
Because we are not familiar with the Spirit of God dwelling in us when we are a new babe in Christ. It's just like when, when the, I believe it was Samuel, he was called several times. He was called several times. And he went to the prophet and said, uh, did you call me? Amen. He said, no, I didn't. I didn't call you. And he came back again because he, he heard that voice. He said, did you call me? He said, no, I didn't call you. Came back the third time. The prophet figured out what was saying. He said, go back. And the next time that voice you hear, he said, uh, he said to him, he said, uh, servant, he said, I listen here. Thy servant, thou heareth thee. That's what I wanted to say. Thy servant, heareth thee. Speak, Lord. Thy servant, heareth thee. And so at that time, he got his instructions on what the Lord was saying to him. But he was young. He was new. He was a new babe in Christ. He had never heard that sound before. And we have to develop a relationship with God through Jesus Christ so we can do what? Get familiar with his voice. He said, my sheep knows my voice and a stranger he will not follow. So you have to know the voice of God.